The ROKS Chonan sank on March 26, 2010, near the northern Lima line, leading to the deaths of 46 sailors. Eleven years after North Korea torpedoed the 1,000-ton South Korean naval vessel, it has been reborn as a 2,800-ton frigate. On Tuesday, the South Korean Navy held a launching ceremony at the shipyard of Hyundai Heavy Industries in Ulsan, about 400 kilometers southeast of Seoul. Speaking at the event, South Korea's Defense Minister's Ho believes that the new ship carries a lot of significance. By bringing back Cheonan, South Korea has kept its promise to forever remember the sacrifices made by those heroes. 122 meters in length, 14 meters wide, and 35 meters high, the new warship will be safeguarding the West Sea near the northern Lima line. The advanced warship is equipped with a phalanx closed-in weapon system, a ship-to-ship -ship and ship-to-ground missiles. Tuesday's unveiling also carries symbolic meaning for the survivors of the attack and the bereaved families of those on board. I think the revival of the Chonan ship means that our lost sons are born again. Even though our sons are not here anymore, we want nothing more than this new ship that's been rebuilt after 11 years to safeguard the northern limit line. The Chonan is expected to be delivered to the Navy in 2023 and put into service the following year. Pei Eun-ji, Arirang News.